sports.net. Uh, for neutral viewers, so viewers not fans of either team particularly, that was a huge, hugely entertaining series. Uh, despite the defeat, was it a fun match from your perspective? And are you looking forward to more series like that against LATAM and BR teams in the future? <clears throat> I mean, Hunter Thieves match is always a banger. So we talked about, I'd say for myself personally, I wasn't having fun as much as I was angry because I think I was pretty disappointed with how we played. I think we should have won, but obviously we shut the bed, so... Yeah, I wouldn't say it was fun, but I am looking forward to other matches. I think we have a lot to prove. Next question from Kodigo Esports. Uh, what was the most surprising thing about R7's gameplay this series? I'd say... Most surprising thing is they play team fights pretty well. I also think we play pretty bad, but... I think the reason we lost today was ultimately they just came 5v5 and out team fought us. Next question from Doi Bao. Uh, in the match against R7, you struggled with Nautilus despite River's strong performance on Viego. Uh, unfortunately, your team couldn't secure the win. How do you reflect on your individual performance and what do you think went wrong for the team as a whole in a, such a close series? Uh, I don't honestly. I don't even remember how we played on Nautilus that game. I think obviously things that went wrong in that game. But LeBlanc got really fed and made it much harder for us. I think besides that, we just lost team fights, like I said. So honestly, I'm not too ashamed with how I played. At least my gut feeling coming from that performance. So. I just have to keep it up and go into next series and play well. Next question from Pedro Romero. Uh, commiserations on the loss. 100 Thieves did come in today as the favorite over R7. Uh, what do you think was the biggest challenge that your team faced against them? Biggest challenge? I mean, just playing how we normally play. I'd say today we were a lot worse than we sh or a, a lot worse than I should have expected us to play. I think our team fighting was bad. We we died a lot when we shouldn't have. And I think that was a big problem for us. Next question, Cloud Sidki. Hey, Ella, sorry about you know losing. Uh, I did want to ask, it seemed like um, River was playing quite well and maybe the rest of the team was kind of nervous, especially Quid. So I just wanted to, to know if you guys were like struggling with nerves or how it was during the games, like how, how were you guys actually feeling? Uh, I'd say at least from a comms perspective, so, uh, nothing felt really off. But I'd say if I were to rewatch the game, because honestly, I was not paying too much attention to my teammates and how they were playing. I was focusing on myself. I'd say I wasn't too nervous and River was playing well, but maybe the other three Maybe even if I have to talk to them. All right, we have time for one final question. One final question going once. Going twice. All right, last question, Pedro Romero. As one of the teams taking part in play-ins, what has the preparation been like for this team from the end of the LCS until now, and what has been the hardest part? Um, so straight after LCS, we lost the FlyQuest. We took maybe like a six-day break, did some content, but other, other than that, we had like all the time to ourselves. And then we boot camped in Europe, in the Netherlands, with Team Liquid facility for just under two weeks and then flew to Berlin, and we've been screaming the whole team, time playing CQ. But I'd say the biggest challenge, at least for me, when I just came to Netherlands, I was sick. It was like pretty cold and I had a shitty bed, and I got sick. So for a long time, I was kind of like griefing a lot of screams, but I've gotten better since then, so all good now. Awesome, thank you. I, I, I don't know what to say. I cannot believe we actually lost, and it's not just the fact that we lost, it's the way that we lost. Our best play, okay, I'm saying our, obviously, because NA, uh, but, but I'm wearing a Shopify shirt, too. 100 Thieves' best player was, like, quit, 
River was great, don't get me wrong. But the fact that Quid did not show up brings back to, to what happened in his very first split. Where he was talking about how, how he was super nervous. And then in the second split, he figured out how to unlock it. One MVP and like he showed up and played very well in spring split. Summer split wasn't as good, but he still played fine. But this this was this was embarrassing. I mean, he went what zero nine zero ten on Vex, and I know people had different opinion. Like Vex is quite weak in her state, um, and other people are just like it doesn't matter because there's like a bajillion dashes and she's gonna be fine. But this was incredibly disappointing. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about what Ayla was saying. Sure, he was sick during the boot camp, but at the end of the day, this is probably the biggest North American disappointment at Worlds. Like. Team Liquid last year lost against Gam. Guess what? Gam is the VCS, not the LLA. LLA have won one game internationally against a, a major region, and that was like back in 2020 against LGD, if I'm not mistaken. And now they beat. They didn't just win once; they won the whole series. They won twice. The way that they dominated, I think I was watching. Uh, I will dominate co stream for a little bit, and he was like, "Why does it look like Hundred Thieves are playing against an LCK team?" Like. <laughs> Summit is making them look like they're playing against an LCK team, and that's exactly how it felt. It felt like, you know, we were just getting choked out. And the, the way the game started was great. We stopped the dive bot lane. Like, it just, it, Ayla made a really good play, and uh, yeah, it just, it really went downhill. And the way they played, not just the fact that we lost. You know, if LLA just, like, had Summit go 8-0 and and just completely dominate, and it's like, there's nothing we could have done. Like, River was trying to carry the bodies, and Sniper too, but they were really trying. And, and Tomo... Like, first international appearance, I get it. He's not a rookie, but whatever. He's he's fresh. But my god, man. Like, the pl his play on Lucian was very mediocre. And his Jinx play was just like... He was he autoed like four or five times the clone instead of autoing Wukong on the Jinx game. He was like alting to Narnia. It was just... It looked so bad. And it looked like they were nervous. That's exactly why I asked that nervous question to, to Ayla. I just wanted to be like, dude, we were so nervous. Kind of like what Merman said. He's like, we were so nervous. We were shaking. Like, so something to make me feel like we underperformed. And, like, once we get those jitters out, we're going to play better. And not, this is our level. Because now, like, okay. If, hypothetically, we beat the Hawks, which I favor the Hawks right now. But if, hypothetically, we beat the Hawks, we have to play Mad Lions, most likely, or PSG. Do you really think that Thieves are making it out? I don't. Not anymore. Like, I want them to make it out. I want them to play much better. I want them to play like they played in LCS. Because the, the, the sh shameful part is they looked like just a weaker Cloud9. Like Cloud9 would play this way. And just all being mid, like dropping. Yeah, they played side lane so poorly. It was very frustrating to see. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too hard on the boys. Obviously, give them our support. <laughs> it feels hypocritical saying that after what I just said. but. Yeah, hopefully they can they can recover and show something because this was embarrassing. Like even if you lose to Mad Lions or PSG or the Hawks, like even if you lose, just play well. I want to see Quid getting Quid game one was like a three hundred CS twenty six minutes or something. He he played well on his champion. I just want him to play well. And even if you lose, you lose, but at least put in the effort. You know, like show show that you're you're good. Don't don't go out like this, man. Don't go out like this.